It is finally time to talk about the transit of closure now that we have composition under our belt. So we are going to let X be the set A, B, C, D. And we're going to let R be the relation A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, B. It's easiest to think about transitivity when we draw the digraph. So let's go ahead and draw a directed graph for uh, R. So we're going to have A, B, C, and D. And R relates A to B, it relates B to C, it relates C to D, and it relates D back to B. All right, we want to make this thing transitive, which means that any time we can eventually get one step at a time between two of the vertices, we want an arrow directly connecting them. So for example, the fact that we can go from A to B uh, via R and from B to C via R means that via uh, the transit of closure, we need to be able to get from A to C. So let's let the red pen be the pairs in R2. And so we're going to get AC in that. We're going to get the pair, let's see, we can get from B to C and from C to D, so we need to get straight from B to D. Uh, we can get from, B to, from C to D and from C to B, so we need to get straight from C to B. I meant to say we can get straight from C to D and from D to B, and then likewise we can go from D to B to C, so we need to be able to go straight from D to C. So all those red arrows that I'm going to have to introduce to make it transitive are all pairs in R2 because they arise from paths of length 2 in R. Then my blue pin is going to represent um, arrows rising as a result of paths of length 3. So I can go from A to B to C to D, therefore I need to be able to get directly from A to D. So the pair AD is going to be there. Um, it's a less common uh, thing in transitivity or a less um, obvious thing in transitivity, but any time that you've got an arrow going to and from a vertex, you need to have the loop of that vertex. So for example, since I can get from B to D and then back to B, I need to be able to get directly from B to B. And so that's a pair that R3 gives us. In other words, it takes three of the black arrows to make one of the blue arrows. So B to C, C to D, and D to B gives us BB. Uh, likewise, we also get CC and DD from the completion of this triangle. And now we can convince ourselves that this is it. There are no more arrows that need to be drawn. There's no R4. There is an R, uh, R4 is empty. There are no paths of length 4 in this relation. Um, the BCD triangle is totally finished, right? There are no new paths that can appear there. And because A comes out to B and nothing goes back to A, there are no paths to A that we need to complete. So we've got the relation R star, the transitive closure, which is equal to all of the pairs that we just found. So we've got AB, AC, and AD. We've got BB, BC, BD, CB, CC, CD, and DB, DC, DD. Uh, easier to say maybe is that R star is also the union of R, R2, and R3. That's an easier way to write it down, and that's what this following theorem says. Let R be a relation on X, then the transitive closure. R is the infinite union, um, which is not on here denoted R star, although it should be. It's the infinite union of R, R2, R3, etc., um, where the infinite union is the set of all ordered pairs that are in at least one of these compositions. Um, so since R4, we kind of ran out of new pairs, uh, we only had to take the finite relation R, R2, R3, um, but in general that's still an infinite union with empty uh, sets.
All right, let's have one more example here. Now, normally this is where I do an example every semester about direct flights to and from airports, um, but given the current uh, situation in the world, that doesn't seem like a very appropriate example, so let's try another one. Let's see an application of the transitive closure. Let X be the set A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, and what this is, is this is a set of friends. A is Alice, B is Bob, C is Carlos, D is Derek, uh, E will be Erica, and F will be Frank. And define a relation as follows. In the past two weeks, Alice hung out with Carlos, who hung out with Derek and Erica, and Erica hung out with Bob. Frank stayed home. Let's call this relation R, and we want to find R star. We have Alice. Let's set our vertices up the right way. We have Alice, uh, we have Carlos, uh, we have Derek and Erica, uh, we have Bob, and then we have Frank. All right. So hung out with is a symmetric relation. So every time I draw an arrow, I'm going to draw another arrow pointing the other way. So Alice hung out with Carlos, which means that Carlos hung out with Alice. Derek hung out with Carlos, and Carlos hung out with Derek. And likewise with Erica. And then Erica hung out with Bob. Frank hung out with nobody. Okay. So we're trying to find the transitive closure. So now I'm going to include the R2 pairs. Uh, so since Alice hung out with Carlos and Carlos hung out with Derek, that means that Derek and Alice are connected in R2. Likewise, uh, Derek and Erica are connected in R2. So are Carlos and Bob. Frank gets no additional arrows. Now we're going to let the blue pin represent all of the three paths. So that connects Alice and Bob. Connects Alice and Erica. We're getting a little messy here. We've been forgetting our loops. So even though they're not super relevant in the uh, interpretation of this example, um, Alice is connected, uh, everybody's connected to themselves in R2 because everybody's got a double arrow um, leading to and from themselves in R1. All right, so we've got those loops on there now, even though, like I said, they're not super relevant to the context of the problem. Um, so all our uh, red arrows sort of complete triangles, all our blue arrows sort of complete squares. Uh, so this is done. And so what we notice is that in the transitive closure, um, Alice, Bob, Carlos, Erica, and Derek are all kind of now related to each other, whereas Frank, who was never related to anybody in the same, um, who in the first place, is still separate from everybody. Like I said, I'll leave it to you to uh, consider the relevance of this example. So our star, the transitive closure, is equal to the 25 pairs that we can make from the five elements A, B, C, D, E, but rather than write all those down, I will simply call it A, B, C, D, E times A, B, C, D, E. It's equal also to R union R2 union R3. Hello, I regret to inform you that video had a mistake. Um, I said we were done with the transitive closure of A, B, C, D, E, F, and I was wrong. So going back to look at it, um, it looks like the pairs um, D, B, and B, D need to be drawn in with a blue marker. 
Um, and in fact, you can tell, right, since I said that um, A, B, C, D, and E had all been related to each other in every possible way, um, that should have 25 arrows. And if you count, it only has 23 arrows. So you need to include uh, two more blue arrows um, between D and, um, I think I said B, right? Yeah, B going in both directions. So I apologize for the mistake.